Hi everyone, this is Dr. Akash Mangoke and welcome back to my another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to study first aid book. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to study first aid book very efficiently. Lots of students want to study for USMLE Step 1 exam, but they just don't know how to study first aid book. First aid is really necessary for USMLE Step 1 exam. Without it, you probably cannot do the USMLE Step 1 exam. First aid is become very essential for USMLE Step 1 exam. And for that, you need to learn how to study first aid book because first aid book is really concise and if you are studying line by line, you will not understand it. And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that. So if you are new here and wants to pursue USMLE exams, consider hitting that like button because I'm going to continue making these interesting videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so without any further ado let's get started so what you can see in your screen is the PDF which I have made on how to study first aid so let's just jump into this first question is that how to study first aid this is our video is about okay so let's understand first aid as a book first okay so it's a really convenient book for USMLE step 1 exam. This is a review book of all the things that you have studied in your med school. Listen to this. This is just a review book of your med school. This is not the typical subject book that you are studying in your med school. Okay. So use it as a review book. After that gold standard for step 1. This book is really gold standard for step 1. Without this book you cannot do USMLE step 1 exam. So this has really concise information. So you need to understand that first that what is written in this book. So for that use BNB for understanding. Okay. BNB has all the topics covered from the first aid and it has some additional points that you can add on to your first aid. Those additional info you can annotate in the first aid because without annotation your book will look like naked book so annotation is first aid's cloth and you need to make it look really nice so without annotation first aid looks naked okay so you need to annotate first aid annotate as much as possible review whole book after annotation first thing is that you are annotating your first aid book and second thing is that you are reviewing your annotation with the first aid book this will make you understand first aid book really easily revisions are really necessary you might will forget what you have annotated in the first aid that's why revisions are really necessary because when you are annotating your last page you might have forgotten the the first page what you have annotated so revision is really necessary okay. moving on how many revisions are necessary there is no specific answer to this question some might need two revisions some might need five revisions there is no specific answer do until you feel satisfied although I did only three revisions you might need only two revisions you really don't know okay so revision as much as you can do until you feel satisfied although you never feel satisfied of revision you need to trust your gut feeling that i have revised it all three times five times seven times and i know these stuffs i don't need to revise more and go on to the exam so only revisions are enough no revisions are not enough if you have done 10 revision but can't apply to the question there is no point of doing the revisions so you need to also do the questions where you will do the questions you will do questions from U world and how you will do questions from U world so see the explanation of U world at the same time see that particular information in first aid and by doing that that paragraph of the first aid will fit in your mind and you will never forget it trust me I had done it so study comparatively do U world and first aid simultaneously you do BNB and first aid simultaneously and that way also you are revising the first aid uh, and that way also you are revising the first aid but this is kind of passive learning you are not directly studying first aid but you are doing the u world and you are comparing with the first aid this is the kind of passive learning and this will be so helpful in your exam print pics charts and any visual in first aid and fit in your mind because this will be so helpful trust me guys if these pics and charts are in your mind question will become so easy that chart will come into your mind and you are following the steps of the chart and answer will be visible to you on those options you will easily pick the answer by doing this and takeaway point of this video is that never betray first aid treat it like your wife girlfriend husband or boyfriend okay and the last point i want to tell you guys is that if you guys need any tuitions 
and any guidance in USMLE exam just contact me on my Instagram handle which is Akash Mangukya I will put the link down below in description and also you can comment on this video and I will approach to you so if you need any type of guidance and any type of tutoring hit me up I will help you guys as much as I can feel free to ask anything and lastly thank you for watching this video and if you like this video then consider hitting the like button subscribe this channel and share it with your friends who wants to give you a step one exam thank you